Camera lenses are susceptible to lens fungus, but an affordable UV light can help to prevent or stop the problem. I made a short video demonstrating how I use UV light to prevent or kill fungus when I buy a new lens or camera. Kiddingly, I pretended on the video I was scanning the package with a metal detector, which created confusion. I didn't clarify on that short video that UV light does not remove the fungus from a lens. So, let's start again. Lens fungus is a very common problem with all lenses. Usually, because they have been around for a long time or because they have been stored in dark and humid environments for long periods of time. But what is lens fungus? I took this definition from Sony's website. Lens fungus is a combination of dust and moisture that finds its way into the interior elements of a camera lens. Dust does not typically cause a problem, but if that dust contains fungus spores and combines with moisture, the fungus can grow. It's more common with lenses that are not weather sealed and used in very humid tropical areas. It can look like small web-like spots or patches inside the lens. If left untreated, the fungus can permanently decrease the lens performance and cause your images to look fuzzy or hazy. Fungus is very contagious, so if you store a lens that has lens fungus next to other gear, chances are the other lenses may catch it. Viewfinders of film cameras have sealed groups of glass too, so viewfinders are also prone to cut fungus. Every time I buy an old lens or camera, I expose it to UV light to eliminate or at least reduce the possibilities of spreading the fungus. The process is very simple. I use a UV light I bought on eBay. There are three types of UV light. Only one of them has the ability to kill fungus. Without being too technical, I just ordered the one that says it has germicidal and disinfectant capabilities. The next step is very simple. You just cast the light inside the lens and leave it there. Some people say 7 minutes of exposure is enough to disinfect a lens. But since the light is free, I always expose the lenses to the light for several hours. I use a piece of aluminum foil on one end of the lens to reflect the light back inside the lens so I can take more advantage of it. UV light is present in the light of the sun and in some other artificial sources like mercury vapor, halogen, fluorescent and incandescent light, so it won't kill anyone but don't stare at the light for long periods of time, since it can cause damage to your eyes. Some people will say it doesn't make any sense to do this because UV light cannot travel through glass. I'm sure there is a scientific explanation for that, but in a simple experiment I did, I projected the UV light through several pieces of glass, lenses, and even a UV filter, and I didn't see any changes at all. Some skeptical people may say the wavelengths change and such, but I'm sure that even if only 1% of the light reaches the interior of the lens, it is better than nothing. I saw a Takumar lens change from yellow to clear in a few days of exposure. Even when I was using a light from IKEA, not even a dedicated UV light like the one I have here. As I mentioned before, UV light does not remove existing fungus from a lens. Basically, a technician would expose a lens that has fungus inside to UV light to kill the spores and eliminate or reduce the chances of contaminating their shop, tools, lenses, cleaner, and other gear. Then, they proceed to open the lens and clean the fungus inside using a combination of peroxide and glass cleaner. Now, the presence of fungus in a lens can cause soft images and poor contrast issues. Depending on the case, a lens that has fungus issues may never be the same again, even if it's cleaned. Fungus can eat the coatings of a lens, causing permanent damage. How to avoid getting lens fungus then? Well, you can keep your lenses in a cool, dry and ventilated area where they can receive light. 
silica gel packets can help to absorb moisture. Remember to replace the packets often to keep them fresh. And you can also buy a UV lamp like the one I have here and expose your lenses to the light once in a while. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the Cinematography Lab. <laughs>